The term header in networking refers to extra information. Subscribe, hit that button below for notifications. Whenever a new video pops out, hit that notification bell and I'll see you on the other side of this where we'll talk about um, headers in much more detail. Another term that we often hear about or talk about when we talk about networking is the term headers. No, not, 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 not the football Cristiano Ronaldo, not that type of a header. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about headers that need to be attached to a message to help it get to its destination. When you receive a letter from somebody, from your bank, for, from a utility for you to pay a bill, for example, you'll notice that on the envelope that there's a certain amount of information. The letter, the envelope needed to have that header on it for it to be able to find its way to you. And that information on a letter would include things like the name of the person, the address, the street address, the house number, the postal code, maybe the state in which you live, the country. And so we could think of that as a header. The envelope needs to have the, 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 the header to help it to get to its destination. The header in itself is not part of the message. It is separate to the message. So what is written inside is completely independent from what is sitting in the header. A packet, be it a TCP or a UDP packet, is also going to have headers because it needs to use those to get to its destination. So for TCP, as we mentioned previously, it's going to have a lot more information. It needs to have a source port, a destination port, an IP address, destination IP address. It's going to need to have things like SYN, SYN, acknowledge, FIN, FIN to terminate a connection. So it's going to have to have a lot more data in the header than what a UDP packet, for example. A UDP packet just needs to have a source port, a destination port. It also has a length. It has a checksum. That's all. It's a lot simpler. That's why we say that a UDP has is less resource intensive than what a TCP um, header is, a TCP packet, because TCP needs to have a lot more information to get to that specific recipient that you're going to need to, to make sure that this gets to me, to you or to anybody else.